or what a beautiful day what a lovely day what a bright day today is not as cold and wet as the previous days of this week have been and uh, i know friends from nairobi would laugh at me and us kampalans as a whole if at all they came and witnessed such weather that we are calling cold really because it's not cold to them nairobi is always cold and just like my tanzanian friend usually laughs at me during a dry season when i complain about hotness he says this is not even as hot or half as hot as the usual day in Dar es Salaam. So really, uh, perhaps Kampala is the most blessed uh, city when it comes to weather. We have temperate weather, but we don't realize it because well, we are so used to it. And well, talking of temperate weather, Zari. Zari has said no more cold nights. Pretoria is a cold city actually, but she's saying no more cold nights and this is because she has King Bay's love. This woman, she's overthrowing the love into our faces anyway. But yeah, she's a happy woman and that's amazing. And most people though have seen this as something like a, a jab at dam and well you might not think of it like that but many have thought of it so because um diamonds recently in the news together with the with the current girlfriend tanasha donna and that they are expecting they've not made it official but most people have confirmed that most people have concluded that because that's what is um the current look of things when you look at tanasha because that tanasha and dam and himself they posted a video of them together dancing to their new song promoting it the new video that's inama featuring fali pupa the congolese superstar and in that video tanasha really looked very pregnant she really looked very pregnant and she had a fenty pack on to hide uh, the baby bump a little bit but it would show it would really really show and people really kept on saying mm, you're pregnant and i think she might be because tanasha is the kind of person who responds when many people talk about something you check her instagram story and she's ranting out at them you guys why are you saying that but on this particular point she hasn't commented at all she hasn't said anything and she's posting various photos but there's one uh, common thing in all these photos she's using various scarves to hide the, the baby bump very accurately so that's why i really think that this that she's actually pregnant and i think this is why most gossip uh, commentators are, are connecting the zari situation to this particular thing because many believe that zari hasn't really fully moved on from diamond platinums and even though she has a new lover and stuff she is not really moved on and this particular thing that shows that tanasha might bear or could bear another child for diamond proves that their reunion with the tanzanian uh, bongo flava star might not be happening any sooner or any later really it's not happening any soon and zari is trying to prove to everyone that she is happy yeah you know like uh, some other people actually believe that she's depressed and stuff of the sort so she's trying to prove so hard that she is fine and stuff but anyway uh, well it happened and uh, talking of diamond banangi that guy is just too bloody diamond is now going to be a father in all three east african countries well because he's already a father to two ugandan kids with a ugandan mom that's zari he's already a father to daylan yeah, that's a tanzanian child with hamisa mobeto and now tanasha donna three three so this man is going to be our own father <laughs> our own father abraham really the father of all of all nations diamond platinums but yeah, well let's talk of people spending their money anyway because their man is not afraid of giving birth to kids after whole years the money take care of them anyway so now yeah god's plan now splashing money of course god's plan through a surprise birthday party for sheila gashumba's mom and um Sheila actually went out to her Twitter to say this. My boyfriend threw my mom her first surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, mommy. Love you plenty. Well, uh, this was an amazing gesture, of course, because God's plan sh uh, is showing that he's close to Sheila's parents. Of course, we've not seen him with a father because the father is a tough man. But yeah, he's showing that he's close to the mom and that's what matters most in the initial stages. Dads are, re are really, really insecure when it comes to their uh, daughters. But yeah, this shows that he might actually be serious. He could wed this girl at any point. Yes, he actually could do it. And people were actually happy about this. And they congratulated uh, God's plan for being such a sharp guy, for doing such things and uh, being in the good graces of Sheila's mom. 
but then some other people uh, brought out an angle that we hadn't noticed because someone came out and told Sheila well I am actually shocked you're saying this is your mother's first surprise birthday party wow you know what that means it means Sheila has never surprised the mother on her birthday <laughs> with all the money she does and all the clubbing she does well uh -huh. and uh, one other thing that actually has also made headlines around is fresh kid uh, fresh kid and the father fresh kid's father wants to travel with him to dubai and all his tours that he's going to uh, well it's 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 funny but it's true the father is actually serious and he says the manager shouldn't try he should not try to stop him from traveling with his child and really people are wondering why why fresh kid's dad wants to travel with a child and his his main answer that he's giving is like he wants to protect his son and well that's a valid argument true it's a valid thing but the manager is really capable of that because he has proved to do this all through ever since uh, the, the child showed interest in singing before he even became famous the manager has been taking great care of him so really it shouldn't be an issue and uh, secondly apparently he wants to carry the child's gifts uh, whenever he's uh, gotten them such that they did not get lost that's according to rumor <laughs> but actually that's also idiotic because really who will steal the child's gifts anyway and uh, the man uh, the guy claims that the manager should never try to stop him because it might not end well and th this actually reminds me of a recent interview that fresh kid did with nbs tv and he claimed he does not like to stay with his father yes the kid said it actually he said he doesn't like to stay with his father he prefers to stay with a manager but now he's with a dad and things don't move really well the shows are not great but he's doing his shows well he, he but, um, that day he was heading to massacre actually to do a show and fresh kid is actually on fire if you didn't know he's on fire for real he's not just hyped he's doing shows you know there is this hype you might get on social media while well, you're not getting any shows fresh kid is actually getting serious shows he's doing like two three shows every week all over the country would be in massacre this time he'll he'll travel to the east on sunday then he'll travel to some place and now he's doing intercontinental shows he's going to dubai to do a show imagine then sweden and all those scandinavian and european countries amazing thing fresh kid is, is doing and he's a star for real and the pictures that have circulated actually actually around he's fitting in well in his new school and he bragged about having many friends you know kampala parent school that he's studying in right now has a lot of uh, ratio and what would I say diversity around there there are many people from different places and he claims he has new friends Indians Chinese uh, British and stuff of the sort uh, yeah and he claimed he has actually he has uh, learned a few words in those various languages and he's fitting in pretty well he sits like a superstar in class <laughs> according to the pics that are rotating around social media well wow that's all for today I know it's been uh, a little of a rushing one but yeah that's all for today i'll be back next week and uh, with the best ugandan juice of course as always if you love this please like subscribe and comment and uh, also check me out on instagram at bashmutumba sayonara